This souvenir boomerang bought at Sydney Airport went to space. It travelled aboard the space shuttle Challenger in October 1984. It was taken up by Dr. Paul Scully Power, the first Australian in space. He was a dual citizen, so he was flying for the United States, but he was proud of his Australian origins and he wanted to do something to mark the occasion. That's pretty cool, but what does it have to do with us here at the Museum of Australian Democracy? It's not just that the boomerang went into space, its story doesn't end there. A few months later, Prime Minister Bob Hawke made a visit to Washington, where he was due to meet with US President Ronald Reagan. Diplomatic officials searched for an appropriate gift and they found this boomerang. Reagan presented it to Hawke on the 7th of February, 1985. The inscription reads, presented to the Right Honourable Robert J. L. Hawke in recognition of our mutual interest in the peaceful uses of outer space. There's actually a mistake there. Bob Hawke was never a Right Honourable. Mistakes aside, the boomerang represents aspects of the relationship between Australia and the United States. Reagan and Hawke thought quite highly of one another and Hawke visited Reagan five times. On one of those visits in 1988, he was the second Prime Minister to address the United States Congress. Hawke's government launched Australia's first two satellites in 1985 and established the National Space Program, which stalled and was eventually dismantled after a failed telescope launch in 1992. A spaceport was even proposed for the Cape York Peninsula, but it was never built. Even though he took it up with him, Dr Scully Power didn't get to see or throw the boomerang, it was stowed away in the hole the entire time. But it's still a great object that tells a very rich story, a journey from a souvenir stand to the Prime Minister, with a quick pit stop in outer space.